Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick, just get ready with me. This is the Giorgio Armani Master Corrector, just to cover a little bit of that darkness. Um, this is a sample of a perfume I got yesterday at Sephora. It's the Prada, I can't remember, Sugar Pop, I think. I like it, but not enough to go buy it. I'm glad I just got a sample. So I'm just kind of blending in that Armani Master Corrector. Sorry. Okay, and I got a sample of that Becca foundation where they reformulated that. Um, it's that same full cover, but they just kind of repackaged it and I think added some new colors and stuff. But this color is actually driftwood. I think it's a little bit better than the Buttercup. And so I'm using a beauty blender, just a damp beauty blender. And I'm really not a beauty blender girl. The I was trying to get it even, but it just seems like in order to get it even, you've just got to put on so much. So you'll see I'm trying here with the beauty blender. And then I will go back in with my It Cosmetics brush, just because I like that brush so much. I'm looking now to see if it's getting everywhere. You have to excuse my hair. That This was second day hair, and I am not using a curling iron or anything on it. I'm going to see if I can go the summer and quit abusing my hair so much since it's going to be frizzy anyway. So, um, and I am probably talking to John, and I was playing Nelly. <laughs> so I might sing. I don't know. Okay, this is where I decided to put a little bit more of the foundation on with that brush, just because I can get all around my eyes and nose and stuff a little bit better with this brush than the Beauty Blender. I'm just brushing it all out. It just, it's my preferred method. I'm bringing it down my neck. And I was thinking I might wear my hair up today, so I was getting making sure I got all around my hairline and all that stuff. Okay. What am I going to do next? I think I'm going to set it. Yes, that is the new It Cosmetics brush I have. It's like an angled ball brush. I love it. It's so soft. And I'm just setting this foundation with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in number two. And it's kind of neat because this foundation doesn't really need me to put the Laura Mercier over it. Okay, now I'm going in with the Buildable Cheek Brush from Smashbox with the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And this is a favorite of mine in the summer just a good bronzer and I think I go back in on the more you know how it's kind of marbled I go back with um, some that doesn't have as much color I think this might even be that I'm using now yes that's that new Estee Lauder palette so I put a little bit of their bronzer and the blush on it's a real pretty rosy color I'll show you this collection there it is yeah it's real pretty. That The blush and bronze are probably my favorite products. Okay, cleaning out my eyebrows. And I am using a new brow product that one of my subscribers told me about. And I love it. And I hate that this I got out of the frame here. But I will do, I'm going to do a better, much better tutorial soon. Um, talk through with some of my favorite products. But this is the Universal Taupe Brow Marker from it's from Walmart and I can't remember the name of the brand right now but I'll put it down below and it is one of the best brow markers I've ever used it um, is supposed to mimic like microblading and I really really like it it's going to take me just a little bit to learn how to use it like right here I think I might have done just a little bit too dark but I'm um, just trying to get used to it 
It makes them really, really pretty though. You can see they're a little bit darker than I'm used to, but that's okay. And then you can still brush it out, even though it's a marker, it does kind of blend out. And to be honest, I really could have gone with just lips here. It's amazing what your brows and everything else make. I didn't, on a normal day, like or on a day I'm just going to go walk or something, I probably just wouldn't even put any eye makeup on. Okay, this is the palette in that collection, and it is very pretty. I'm using the brown color all over. I'm just bringing it out a little bit. It's a really pretty palette. I'm not being too precise with that. Matter of fact, when I was doing that, I was thinking I might just wear that one shadow, but then I decided to go in. I just turned my brush sideways and go in with that dark color. And I thought, hmm, I want to darken the outer a little bit. It blends very easily. And so that's what I'm doing. It's just kind of building up, I guess, the outer V, winging it out. But the tones are really good in this palette. And then a little bit on the lower lash line to kind of connect with that top. Not a lot of fallout, not a lot of dust up or whatever. It's not just, it's a good shadow. And okay, now I'm going in with that, the, you know, reddish type color, rosy like a rose gold type color and just on my lids which really adds a lot just for something just a little bit and then I think I'm getting a the Smashbox smudger brush and I'm going to do that lightest color on the inner corners and it's not real light just a little bit lighter and then I'm I think I'm going to kind of just blend out on the brow bone just a little bit with mainly what's left on my brush it was just one little speck of fallout and that was it that's pretty good for that much dark shadow <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about listening to the music. I wonder what I'm thinking here. I can't remember. I should have edited this part out. Oh, I know what it was. I was thinking what liner. Did I want to do wing liner or did I want to try to just do lashes? And I just have a hard time just doing lashes. Um, and I just really love false lashes. So I did my usual Lancome art liner wing that just comes, you know, three quarters of the way in. It's just what I like, but you certainly do not have to do a wing to make this that shadow look good. I think it looked good without it, especially if you're a person that has good lashes. I just don't have good lashes. I really like this eyeliner too. It's an oldie but a goodie. I've been using this for a long, long time. Probably since my 20s. I remember there was a color called Carob that I used that was kind of like a brown sparkly color. Okay. Oh, I'm using one of these Q-tips that I ordered from Amazon that have the some kind of oil makeup remover on them already. 
and they're real small and real tightly wound so they're real good to clean up your wings. Okay, this is one of the products that is just, it might work for you, but I didn't really like it on the lips. I'm trying it on the lips here, and I just didn't like the way it felt or smelled or looked or anything. I used it yesterday as a highlight, and it was really pretty. I just think it's going to be too much for me for the summer, um, but Brooke will probably love it. Her skin's not as oily as mine, and she doesn't wear foundation, so she might really like it, but it's not that it's not a good product. It's just... It's hard for me to find one of those type of products that I like. Okay, this is that new Dior nude color. I can't remember. I'll put the name down below, but I just love it. It looked so pretty for a long time. It's kind of long wearing. It's just a really unique color. And the lipstick that came with this collection I wore yesterday. So I will put a picture of that at the end of this video and I posted a picture of that on my Instagram from yesterday and actually the picture that I posted on Instagram yesterday and I will put that same picture here I had that highlight on so you'll be able to see okay I tried the the first mascara I tried was an Estee Lauder and I didn't care for it as much this one is the sumptuous volume there's some samples when you order from Estee Lauder they give you a lot of good samples Really, I think you got to pick like six samples. And that is just a good mascara, that sumptuous one. Okay, so what am I doing now? Okay, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I want to get this in a darker color because notice how when I blend this in, it takes this look, I don't know, I, in the summer, I just don't like the lightness under the eyes quite as much. I like it to be more just uniform. I just think when you do this, it just kicks it up a notch and makes it dressier. I don't know, that's probably not the word to use, but like a more formal look. Whereas if I'd have used a concealer that was more of my skin tone, it would have kept it kind of daytime, summer, casual. This just kind of, I don't know, this is more of a nighttime. Just made the whole look fancier looking. And it's not that I don't like that, but for summer I don't know I think I just enjoy not as much of that look and then I'm just using what's left on my brush to clean up around my lips okay these are my favorite red cherry 43's and I've worn them a couple of days so they fit just right I'm doing a voiceover. Oh my goodness, baby. Thank you. I love you. I was sweet, Brooke. <laughs> my baby just brought me flowers home. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, this is the MAC Giga Black Lash that I like to use on the bottom. Just my favorite, favorite. I've used the It. I've used the Clinique. I've used all the ones that people like for their lower lashes, but this is my favorite. And um, I try to not really put a lot down there, but just kind of fan them out to the side and get the base of them. Oh, I can't wait to go see all my flowers. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. Okay, I'm taking my hair clips out, and I'm thinking, hmm, am I going to put my hair up today? And I decided just to leave it down just because. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.